I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was naive. It was all my fault. I thought we could make a little movie with found footage and be okay. But now all movies are found footage. I'm so sorry. What was that? The Blair Witch Project, 1997 low-budget movie starring two guys and a girl who go into the woods to try to film a documentary about the fabled Blair Witch of Maryland and what happens to them when they do. And the only reason we know, supposedly, is because we found their footage and we edited it together into a nice little movie called The Blair Witch Project. Now, this is the movie that launched the found footage phenomenon. Now, since then, we've had a big-budget found footage movie. We've had an artsy found footage movie. Uh, even just this year, we've had the teen sex comedy found footage movie. We've had the superhero found footage movie. We've had the space found footage movie. Why has it become such a big... Th I even think we had a television show that was found footage. Why has it become this big thing? Well, I'll tell you why. First reason, they made a ton of money on it. They made it for about half a million dollars and it ended up making 250 million. Now, a little quick math, carry the one. That's about a gazillion percent increase and they really, really raked it in. And of course, when Hollywood sees money being made, they wanna make money themselves, and that's why we've seen all these. Uh, the second reason is, it worked. It's a good movie. There's a lot to really like here, and let's talk a little bit about that. We'll start with the performances. Uh, the two guys do pretty good. The girl is really not that great of an actor. She does have that big scene-stealing uh, thing at the end where it's a close-up on her and she's apologizing to everybody, but overall, she's not that great. But you know what? It doesn't hurt the movie too much. In fact, it almost helps it. Both the acting not being superior and the cinematography not being superior because the actors are shooting it, that's kind of the charm of what goes on here. And one of the reasons we buy into it being real. Now, the movie did two things, and it did them both well. One was the marketing, which started on the internet to make people believe maybe this was a true story. And the second was uh, that they really were able to make it feel genuine and real through the fact that the actors shoot the movie. And that's what found footage movies have become, those two things, and it really works in this movie. Although it is not gory, it's not a horror movie, it is a suspense movie, and the suspense really, really works. And it's amazing because it shouldn't. The dialogue in this movie is awful. There's a whole three minutes spent just saying, that's so not cool, man. I know it's not cool. No, that's so not cool, man. I mean, they repeat that probably three, four times in a row. It shouldn't work, but somehow you're drawn in and the suspense is there. And this movie holds up after 15 years. And that's why you can send you to see these found footage movies. Do we need all the marketing anymore? Are we supposed to buy into them? I don't think that's necessary anymore. I think found footage needs to kind of go from a genre to be a tool. And a movie that's a great example of that is End of Watch, a movie that came out this year uh, about a couple of uh, buddies who are cops. And a lot of that movie is shot in kind of found footage style from their own cameras, from their own patrol cars, but much of it is shot normal through, you know, Steadicam and different things like that. And it works. You get that suspense feel from the footage that's there but you also get the Hollywood feel and the legitimate feel of a movie, and I think that's where it needs to go. And then you're not having to justify all these cameras like in Chronicle uh, earlier this year and the justification of why this camera was there or why that camera was there. Let's drop that behind as we go into the future of found footage. Blair Witch uh, overall is a movie that is intense and suspenseful and a movie that somehow, 15 years later, even with bad acting, works. <laughs>